another episode of This Square Room. My name is Jonelle. I'm Desi D18, best known as Des Wayne. I, I literally cannot stand you. That's why we're sitting, silly. Yeah. <laughs> Touche, he got me, folks. <laughs> I have nothing left to say. Thank you so much for listening. <laughs> we'll see you next Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but yeah, if you didn't know, we upload new episodes every single Tuesday, so definitely tune in next Tuesday, but you're here now, so I guess we might as well just move forward with an episode and longer than a minute, right? Dive right into it. Let's dive in. Go ahead. Um, okay. So the other day I was thinking, what is the funniest moment? Like a moment that when you think of like you are dying and like, <laughs> like I'm laughing cause I'm thinking of mine. Yeah. One moment in your life, whether it's f- something you saw, something you heard, something that somebody told you, and it just stands out more than the other. More than the others? Here's the thing. I've had a lot of, like, laugh till I cry moments mm-hmm. with various friends over several years. But I can't think of, like, one that stands out more than the others. If you, like, name one moment with this person, I think it'll be easier than just like one above the rest. I don't feel like I have one. Is that normal to have one? I, I don't know. I You're the only person I've ever asked this. Oh, okay. Now I'm going to ask people. Now I want to know if it's normal or not. Like, am I the not normal one for having one? It's just like, right? Like, if someone says, what's your favorite song? I can tell you what my favorite song of the moment is, but of all time. Promised by Lil Wayne. I don't have one. But I think that the, the song thing is more common. Like, you're not yeah. you're not in <laughs> yeah, the minority yeah. to be like, I have a favorite song. Yeah. Well, actually, I do have a song that is, like, a very special place in my heart. And it's Baby by Justin. Not Baby. Uh, One Time by Justin Bieber. <laughs> yeah. And everyone looks at me crazy when I'm like, this is my favorite song. But I'm like, don't fucking judge it's me. That's it. Yeah. Please. You were one of the people that looked at me crazy. No, for sure. Because you're, yeah. I don't forget my fucking birthday last Obsession. year. Obsession. And I, it's not an No, back then. It yeah, was, but, like, I think no. because that was my first song that I heard of his. But I was like, yo, this is a bop. We go keep, keep time and climb until we reach the top. Come on now. <laughs> but, yeah, I, I don't know. I definitely have some with different people, but I don't know if one is, like. More than the other? Yeah. That sucks. Why? They're all really good. No, I'm not. I just feel like there's one that should be the moment. What's yours? Um, <laughs> I was seven, eighteen. 18 um i'm home with my two brothers at the time they're in grade school so one was maybe grade seven grade eight the other one grade four probably okay we're home and i am high as fuck because this is around the time where i'm experimenting different types of smoking hot boxing which is you go in a room and fill the room with smoke and like close all the yeah, you, windows exits and everything under the door exactly everything. towel yeah. under the door all Don't that people also sometimes run hot water so it's steamy. that's exactly what I did for the first time okay so you I'm in the first time that's a lot yeah no not my first time smoking like my first, time, first time hot time boxing, boxing. by think, myself I still think you gotta like take baby steps no I'm not yourself. I'm a dive in person I one time was uh, I don't smoke but I was like in the bathroom with my friends when they hot box how was that I didn't feel anything. Oh, that's good. We were also drinking wine, though. So it's like, I feel like if I feel any type of buzz, like it felt it like a wine, wine buzz. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I hotbox the bathroom and this is maybe like four or five in the afternoon, evening time. And now I'm in my mom's room and I am high as fuck. Mm-hmm. I call my best friend and I call... <laughs> <laughs> tell this. So I call him and he answers the phone and he's like, yo, what's going on? And I'm like, nothing. I'm so high right now. Blah, 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 blah. And I'm laughing like it's a good high. And he's laughing and he's like, oh, say word. OK, OK, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, yeah, yeah. Like, what are you up to? And he's like, oh, um, I'll talk to you later. And I was like, what? And he's like, I'll talk to you later. And then hung up the phone. And I started bawling my eyes out 17 18 year old des crying no bawling when i say i'm bawling joe i am hysterical so i call a mutual friend of ours i lied i called him back and he ignored the call good so i call a mutual friend of ours 
and it's, this is, wasn't somebody that I speak to like every day. This is like, oh, Des is calling. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Hey, Des. <gasps> <laughs> I'm bawling. Super. And I'm like, he hates me. It's because I'm high. He doesn't want me to be high. Oh, my God. Why did I do this? He hates me. And I'm bawling. And she's like, no, he doesn't hate you. You know he loves you. I'm like, no, he hates me. He hates me. And I'm bawling. And she's trying to calm me Probably down. Like, yeah, I hate you too. <laughs> so then I get up. Like, we get off the phone. I'm like, I got to go. Like, I can't. I got to go. So I call him back. He ignores the call again. <laughs> <laughs> Just to reinforce what you are and thought. <laughs> I leave, like, like any breakup, any anything. I have never been, like, I'm so sorry. Like, I'm the, the girl that got broken up with for doing nothing. But the boy thinks it's something. And you feel bad for whatever. Isn't it usually the other way around? What do you mean? Like the guy does nothing and the girl thinks it's something and... Well, I mean like the guy breaks up with the girl and she's like, no, take me back. I'm so sorry. I'll do whatever. You say women are desperate? Yeah. Um... Maybe just the ones you fuck with. Don't don't. I didn't say they did it to don't, me. Don't come. I have. Don't there is a video circulating. My fellow ladies. There is a video circulating. I'm just going what I see off the internet. Oh my god, that woman. You see? Oh, look at you now. Oh. Look at you now. No, she's a mess. She, I don't know. She would never listen to this square room. Never. Good quality women listen to this square room <laughs> and upstanding men. Facts. Mm-hmm. Um. So listen, I am the people that we talk about. Are not our listeners. They no, listen. no, they couldn't be. No. Could never be. Could never. Like, they would try to listen and it wouldn't work. They, they, they're not our people. They couldn't be my people. No. Not even close. <laughs> I'm not even descendants. <laughs> well. Uh, I don't like that. <laughs> um. Yeah, so I call him back. He ignores the call. And I... It goes to voicemail. And I'm like, I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. And, and I'm bawling. And I left him a long voicemail to the point where it's like... The voicemails, like, the voicemail cut me off. <laughs> oh, I know them ones. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've never been bawling on someone's phone. Yeah. Usually it's like I'm trying to call, like, like a business, and I'm, like, leaving a message, and you're trying to leave details, but, like, you're like, um, uh, uh, and then it's like, beep, thank you for your message, and I'm like, oh, God, but you don't want to call back. Yeah, yeah. Oh, God, I hate um, that. Um, so it cuts me off. Now I'm losing it. My brother comes in the room, the youngest one, and he, you know, he used to have a high pitch. Des, what's wrong? Well, leave me alone! Oh. And I pushed him, like, get away from me. Like, I'm I'm a mess right now. I'm a mess. So, I, like, I get it. I'm hyperventilating. Like, he's never going to talk to me again. He's never going <laughs> to... Like, I was a mess. So then, later on, I, I calmed down after, like, half an hour or so. And then they said they wanted pizza. So your, I'm like, your brother. Yes. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, okay, let me order us some food. I order... You're going to have the high person order food. You're going to order like a million times more than you need. I ordered two large pizzas. One topping on both. One topping, extra cheese. Next pizza, pineapple. Wait, no no cheese? One with just cheese and one with just pineapple. And cheese? Yeah. Okay, okay. To me, that's a fucking waste of a topping. Not the pineapple. Like one pizza could be pineapple, next like pepperoni or something mm-hmm, mm-hmm. so that pissed me off when i came to i don't remember paying for the pizza oh my god Des. i remember waiting for the pizza and i was hungry my mom had made um spaghetti and meatballs but she didn't make enough noodles so there was just a couple meatballs left over so i took the bread put it in the put the meatballs in it ate the meatballs with the bread Little pizza bootleg came meatball sandwich. yeah, yeah. <laughs> pizza came had a couple pizza slices and i didn't feel too good but i'm coming down from my high i'm now full and I passed out. I woke up cleaning up the kitchen and garbage day was the next day. So I'm about to throw shit out. And I asked the middle one and I'm like, where is the the bread that was on the counter? Because there's some bread I was supposed to throw in the garbage because it's all moldy. Mm-hmm. That is what I ate with the meatballs. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Threw the fuck up. <laughs> no wonder you felt not yeah. so great. So threw up when it came to my brain what I did. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> Next day I'm coming home from school. <laughs> Sorry, I just imagine like a violent like Family Guy style vomit. <laughs> like that's what I imagine you throwing. It, up it like. wasn't too far from that. Because I don't see you throwing up like ooh, like a little dainty. Like I imagine no. it's like projectile. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> um, next day I'm coming home from school. Keep in mind I still haven't heard from my friend. He still hasn't called me back or nothing. Good. I remember the sequence of events. I feel stupid and like I overreacted, but you still haven't called me back. 
So now you're like, wait. You must really hate me now. <laughs> so then I um go to school the next day. I didn't tell anybody about what happened. On my way home from school, I'm wearing my nice jacket that I always wear. And, you know, I just put my hand in my pockets. Why is there meatballs <gasps> in my pocket? Just a fucking mess. <laughs> just a fucking mess. So I, I do get home and then I do talk to this Loose cousin. Loose meatballs in your... <laughs> jacket loose does it's loose loose Loose. oh no so and it's like why would i have the jacket on inside that like what what so i i end up talking to my my friend later and um he immediately called me and he's like yo i fucked up i fucked up now i'm worried like what did you do i fucking deleted the voicemail you sent me oh you're saying you don't remember this I, I remember. Oh, okay. But he, he meant to save it because right. save is seven. As I was saying it, he pressed nine mm. because he's like, yo, I have to save this. Mm-hmm. Nine is delete. Gone. So in my brain, I'm very happy it's gone. <laughs> but Proof. when I think about the whole events of what happened, I'm just like, Des, what the fuck? What the fuck? And to this day, like, he'll talk about it and he'd be like... Yeah, I had men cry over me before. I'm like, shut the fuck up. Shut up. You're so, so stupid. So did he ever tell you why he couldn't speak? Or why no, he, he was busy. He, okay, I, I believe at that time he went to um, he went to board, boarding school, military school, military school. What is it called? Mm-hmm. Depends on which one. Military. Board, not all boarding school is military. Okay, I think it was a military boarding school. Okay. So he's not even supposed to be on the phone. Not even supposed to have a cell right, phone. Right, so you're like getting him in trouble. Yeah, but I don't, I didn't remember all of that. I just wanted to talk to you. So why, oh, I guess that explains why he couldn't call you back the next and day. And why he kept ignoring the call. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he's like, yo, you're both. Yeah, you're like, cool. fuck this. So when he got to his privacy and listened to the voicemail, like, it was, for him, it was probably so enjoyable to hear because it's not Des. It's, what is wrong with you? Yeah, I love that story. It makes me happy because I love him. That's sweet. Yeah. Yeah, no, I have um, I have lots of good stories. I mean, I guess I'll share one. <laughs> You're it, like, I'll choose one. No, no, no. I'm, I'm specifically going to share this story because I know she listens to the podcast. So okay. it'll be really funny. Um, I know she's fucking grinning right now because she knows. She knows which one she you're going to say? The person already knows who they are. Mm-hmm. And I think they already know one of the two stories I'm going to tell. But like, surprise, bitch, I'm telling both of them. <laughs> so um, we were very peculiar young adults. children. No, we weren't adults. We were uh, well, young, like young teenagers, like young teenagers at the time. We're like, I'm trying to give you guys some grace. 14, 15. I don't know. No, but like, no, we were weird, but like in a good way. Like we just did our thing. Yeah. We had a good time. Um, and yeah, we didn't really care too much what other people thought. Like I have a photo of us and, um, we were outside like our high school's like doors, you know, like an automatic door. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you press the thing, it opens. And then after a few seconds, it It closes. closes. There's literally a picture of us pretending to like, or is it a video? I know there's a picture for sure, but I'm sure there's a video too of us pretending to like use the force to open, like lame lame so lame i know i know i know <laughs> like just uh, i can see it brings you so much joy to think about that <laughs> it's so stupid or so stupid but like i wouldn't i wouldn't ever trade it for the world like i love moments like i that. i encourage like even now like i love being like weird with my friends yeah. just having our moments yeah. and like when i see younger kids and i know like for kids it's hard to be like for younger kids and like teenagers, I know it's hard to just be yourself because you're so afraid of like what other people yeah, will think. Yeah. But if you just let go of that shit, you will have the, the best time, time and make life. the best memories with the best people. For Trust sure. me. Yeah. Even with the worst people. Even if you don't talk to those people, you look back at certain memories yeah. so fondly because you're like, I was myself and I just had a good time. And like, you know, they may not be in my life anymore, but like I enjoyed that moment. And that's all you can really do. Right. Yeah. Anyways. So um, two instances. OK. First one. We, again, this is still high school. We have decided that we want to have a journey, right? What type of journey? You look, you look a little confused. We're like, well, we just want to go somewhere. To the fucking mall, like. No, 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 not not just a mall. We just wanna, we just wanna go, like, hop on a bus and just go somewhere. Okay. We don't want to plan it. We don't want to, you know. We just want to go and just experience life. I mean, I feel like that sounds like pretty. Time cool. out. What? Do you remember when I first met you? We took the bus to York and back. 
Why? Because we didn't know what to do. No, that wasn't me. That was you. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. I remember because the building you lived at, that's the stop we got on. That was, yeah, the, the, there was a bus straight there. Yeah. Oh, you know what? I do remember that. For some reason, I'm thinking. And like, that was the first time I got on a bus in that area. And I was like, oh, I didn't pay. Well, yeah, you were supposed to pay. Don't say that. You're incriminating us. You're supposed to pay. But like, you I'm incriminating myself. You said we, you little shit. No, I said I didn't pay. No, you said we I said we got on the bus and I didn't pay. Okay. All okay. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Des didn't pay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I always paid my fare. Um, but yeah, so actually it was in that area, actually. Um, I wasn't living where you knew I was living, but we were Before, in that area. Because okay. remember, there was the mall, and across the road was a McDonald's yes. and stuff. So we decide that we are going to go on a journey. First of all, the point of the journey was that it was supposed to be spontaneous. Okay. We planned the shit out of it. Oh, my itinerary God. Itinerary to the second. And can I say, you know how I am. I'm, yeah, I'm all for an yeah. itinerary. So I was down, but, like, I didn't even initiate it. But I was like, yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, let's yes, plan. Yes, 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 yes. Like, no, we got to do this, and we got to stop here, and we got to go there. And we get... But it was the whole idea was, like, we're just going to go with the flow. Whatever just... happens, happens, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Keep in mind, we're fucking children, right? Yeah. But so we're off to a bad start. It's already planned out. We, at some point, stop at that McDonald's. Now, we are trying to cross the road. I'm pretty sure we're going to catch the bus to go to somewhere that I'm sure we planned. I can't remember. Um, again, across the road from the mall. So now it's, win- it's winter. I don't remember what month it was, but like snow on the ground. Mm-hmm. There, we could have just easily walked to the intersection and walked across, but like, what teenager doesn't want like wants to do that so we're like we'll just walk down like on on the side of the street here but from where the mcdonald's is to the sidewalk there was like a big ditch okay like when i say this ditch was like a fucking cavern it was <laughs> a cliff we a literally were no seriously it was deep it was like ain't no mountain high enough ain't no valley mm-hmm. low enough so we were like all right what are we gonna do are we gonna walk a few feet and then go to the intersection no or we're we... not bitches no we are going to run and we are going to jump over this right. fucking cliff to the fucking other hell, side. You guys are so stupid. So we were like, all right. And we were like, <laughs> we're, like oh, we're going to hold hands doing it. <laughs> I don't know why we're holding hands. Okay. Anyways, I think I can't remember if anyone was on my right, but I do remember one friend was on my left. She's there. And then the girl I'm talking about is on her left. Okay. So it's me on the right side, one, one mm-hmm. friend and one in the middle. And I think... Again, there was there was one or two others with us, but I don't know what's side. Where, yeah. Um, it's not important. So we're like, one, two, three. We take a couple steps, and then my friend on my left holds my hand. Like, you know, like a mother. Like, don't move. Don't like, don't do go. It. Yeah. She holds my hand. I'm like, okay. Like, we didn't do it. Because we were all kind of nervous. We were hyping it up. Like, this, this shit was, it was deep. It was wide. It was everything that Beyonce said in that song mm. about Jay-Z's dick, you know? Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> It's too big. It's I know I get it. Go ahead. It's go ahead. Long. It won't fit. Got it. <laughs> Got it. Anyways, so she holds my hand back and I'm like, okay. I look to my left, looking for my friend. We should call her something. What what do you want to name her? Um I wanna name her. <laughs> Not me almost say her name. <laughs> I was like trying to think of a nickname, but I'm like, that could be easily interpreted as her actual name. Um, Lois. Okay. Peta. All right. <laughs> so I look over. Why the fuck would you think of Lois? That's so random. I look over. I look at, you know, friend A. Yeah. Who held me back. She's okay. We look over. Lois is gone. <laughs> Sorry, I'm like dying. You guys left her for dead. Well, I didn't hold her back. Friend A held her back. All that was left... She was holding on to friend A's left hand. Yeah. All that friend A had was her mitten. No. <laughs> she had Lois's mitten in her hand. Where's Lois? Lois, Lois, God, yo, I can't. I fucking can't. Oh, God, this story is so funny. We look, where the fuck is Lois? <laughs> Lois is in the sinkhole. Lois is in the sinkhole? Lois is hanging. No! <laughs> she didn't make it? She's, she didn't make it across. She was hanging from the cliff. <laughs> no. no. I'm crying tears. I'm actually crying tears. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. You guys almost lost her that day. She was 
hanging right into your life. We started dying, but we're like, go, go, go. And go where? Like, she had to, like, grapple her way up. Of course. <laughs> it's snow everywhere. She's falling as she's grappling herself oh, back I'm up. Crying. Meanwhile, one hand is fucking frozen at this <laughs> yeah, point. She only has one <laughs> yeah. man. She's left for dead in this cavernous And you guys are cave. cackling. But we're like cheering her on. Yo, she gets the other side. Oh, you're cheering, like, not helping. No, we're like, we're like, go. But like, we are laughing. But it's like, we're also like, you, you, you can do it. She kind of like had to shimmy up the little cliff. Oh my God. To this day, we call it her cliff hang. No. Because she was yeah, hanging yeah. from the cliff. Can I tell you something? <laughs> Years later, we walked back by that area. It's still there. When I tell you, the little ditch was so tiny. <laughs> You're, I don't want to hear this story. I don't want to hear this story. It was so tiny. I don't understand. We don't understand either. What was she but hanging ask from? Ask her. She remembers it. It was a deep ass cliff. We called it a cliff for you. We still call it a cliff hang. What? I think the snow definitely added to it because when we saw it again, there was no snow. Because mm-hmm. you know, snow can kind of like pile up, so it makes yeah, it higher. Yeah. Makes, but like, it was really nothing for us to like. We thought we almost lost her, like you said. Yeah, that's what it sounded like. All that was left was her glove. I looked over and she Could was. Could you gone. imagine going to her house and giving her parents her <laughs> glove? Yo, we just it, the reason why it's so funny is because it's so ridiculous. When we went back and we're like, this, this is what we. <laughs> we're- I'm almost disgusted. <laughs> but yeah, that's one of the stories. Like when I think of like one of the most ridiculous moments with this person, like that's definitely on the top of the list. And I have a lot more like funny stories where it's like we could have sworn Des, sworn that it was one way. And it wasn't that. And it was not. It wasn't that. It, it really. You guys are like, you guys are like the backyard again. Where they're in the backyard making up their own adventures and shit. Oh my shit. god, no. You know what I recently... I didn't watch the whole thing, but um, it was like on the other day and I was kind of dipping back and forth because I still have cable TV. Mm-hmm. It was um The Boss Baby. Have you ever seen that movie? Yeah. And like, I, I, I hadn't seen it. And the the kid, the first kid, he has such a wild imagination. He'll mm-hmm. take a normal scenario and it's like... Yeah, yeah. That's, that's you guys. That's us. 100%. 100%. Yep. Yep. <laughs> I know you guys, so yes. I can say yes. And you guys egg each other's imagination on. But can I tell you, to this day, Des, I'm telling you, as God is my witness, if I think back to that cliff, my friend was hanging for her life. At the side she, of the road, there was had, a cliff. She had a fear. <laughs> Joe, listen to me. No, 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 no. Listen to me. At the she, side of the road where cars drive. But when I first told you, you were believing it, though. Now that No, you, I now wanted to hear know. the story. I wanted to hear, even if you told me the, like... When you said it, I was like, okay. In my head, there was at least a few feet of a drop below her. On when the I, road. She was Where clinging. cars drive. She was No, she wasn't on the road. It was at the side, in the ditch. Like, you know how, like, they have, like, the fucking trenches where, like, I guess, like, water, if it rains, it runs off. Like, it was a fucking trench. But, like, when we went back, it just was more of a slope. <laughs> it just wasn't as extreme as Not we even close. once thought. It was like one of those skateboard, skateboard, like. Okay, no, don't, don't do that to me. <laughs> like, don't do that to me and my friend. <laughs> <laughs> come you. on billy hop you know when you're a kid and you hop on the sidewalk because you think it's j- high it was one of those Fuck off. um real quick because i don't want to tell another s- super long story but another example of this is when um we had a sleepover i think this was actually part of the journey but i think it was another because we were like we're gonna do it again we're not gonna plan and it turned into a <laughs> plan thing. yeah but we were sleeping over at a friend's house and we watched silence of the lambs for the first time it's a super okay. old movie and that's when i fell in love with serial killers and hannibal lecter um but there's a character called buffalo bill and we remember oh, him I, yeah yeah and like, you saw the movie no but i know the name okay yeah yeah because he's based off a real guy but there is a, um a time when like he's like in i think it's his house and he's in a kitchen and he like tries to like run away and like you know lure this um agent into like a trap he had like a well in his house. it was like weird whatever mm-hmm. the point is he's like kind of like in a kitchen or dining room or whatever and he like score like his back is to the wall and he like goes around the corner and like the way he went around the corner was like very like like his body was just like Ooh, yeah I'm gonna, yeah like, okay like imagine like the like way, like, squirmy like almost. the way mr zoidberg from futurama would have moved like just like Ooh, yeah. and he just like, like when he was on the floor like <laughs> <laughs> yeah like okay. le- legit but on that. the wall Got yeah it. and he just kind of did that around the corner and remember we watched it there was like again five six girls and we were just like 
dying of laughter because we're like this is so fucking weird mm. and we for years would imitate the like Ooh, around the corner because again we're fucking weirdos mm. right tell me why we watched the movie he just slid around the you corner. guys are so stupid he just slid you guys are actually <laughs> stupid you guys are i don't want to say stupid that's not nice that's an insult to stupid people you guys are ridiculous oh my god i wouldn't trade that shit for the world man it is so fucking funny yeah I it's was... funny because it's so dumb we're so dumb but like i said it's like it's that... great moments yeah it is i mean look at yours yours was a situation you made up in your head too no i didn't <laughs> <laughs> i lived it <laughs> we i des Wayne, look at me it was a fucking cliff i bet it was i bet you they filled it in years later mm -hmm. she was on a cliff okay she let me was. tell you she cliff almost hanger. lost her life <laughs> no we don't call it a cliffhanger we call cliff it hang. the cliffhang <laughs> at least she made it out okay because the cliffhanger is when you're like left on the edge of your seat now, I want she you was to at understand. the edge of the cliff I want you to understand what if she's at the edge of the cliff right I want you to picture this and she's with her arms trying to get up this cliff no she was like spider monkey like she dug her, her hands in, in on and the then top. she had to like pull herself yeah well not no well into the snow I don't know <laughs> you have to understand that means this cliff this sinkhole was at least five four. No, no, five she, foot. she's like an a inch or two taller than me. I think she always has been like just taller than me. And like maybe back then I was like five two. So yeah, you're right. Like, no, no, no. But I, in my head, yo, there were feet below her. That that sinkhole in my head was like four feet deep. Somebody was under there. Oh, I mean, four her, feet huh? deeper, deeper than, than her. Yeah, yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah, so. yeah. 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 You guys Who are knows? Sick. Maybe the abominable snowman would have came and snatched her up. Like legit, her life was it was all that was left was the mint. I didn't even see her fly across. I didn't see she her. She just dropped. I looked over. You know, like my friend grabbed my hand. She stopped me. She uh, she grabbed her hand too, but of the, course she yeah, slipped yeah. out. All she got was a mint. And she goes flying across the cliff. Where I'm looking over, don't see her. I see where my friend is looking, and she's just on this, the cliff. This is like when when Kevin Hart said he, the dolphin tried to kill him. And I don't remember this one. He was he went to go swim at dolphins, mm -hmm. and he said he grabbed onto the dolphin, did what the instructor said, grab onto the hoof or what? What's it called? Fin. <gasps> grab onto the dolphin. Grab onto the what? The fin. The hoof. <laughs> <laughs> the fin. Des. The fin. The hoof. The fin. Do you know what a hoof is? It's the. Yeah, on like a fucking cow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, why would I say hoof? Uh, grab onto the fin and the dolphin will swim around. So he said he grabbed onto it and immediately the dolphin dove underwater and he, uh. he can't swim. <laughs> and he's panicking and he, whatever, nobody noticed, whatever. So he swims to the top and he's yelling at everybody and the water's like three feet. <laughs> you guys just made that whole shit up. Cause I'm pit like, but the thing is, we 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 shared that same memory. experience. Yeah, it's like, how did we all imagine it? How do you find a group of friends that's just as fucked up as you? Like, it's meant Welcome to be. Welcome to the world. Yo, seriously, man. Yeah. <laughs> when you were telling that story, it reminds me of like me and my two closest friends, and we like the other day, me and Kaden were crossing the road. There was like five seconds left. But you know, between the five seconds and the next light changing, there's like three seconds. Sometimes. Sometimes it's weird. true. But so, yeah, usually. There's yeah. A little... So that five seconds, you really have like eight. Sure. All right. You're already playing with fire, but OK. So lights change. I'm like, hey, then come on. And I start walking. I turn around. This kid is still on the other. Are you crazy? Good. Not me. I don't jaywalk. I don't this. I don't that. Good. I love my life. I don't know about. And he's going on and on. And I'm like, <laughs> are you my kid? Me and my friends, we would wait for the light to go yellow and be like, the last one across is a bitch and take off. Didn't you have a friend who... Strip naked? Sometime... What? That is not what I was going to say. Running down the street. You know how movie theaters used to have the light in the sky? You know those... those... There was only one theater in the whole area that I knew that did that. It was, I think it was like the AMC or something that had the fucking spotlights in the we, sky. I, I, I didn't know where it was from. I'm saying movie theater, but it could have been from anything, to be honest. Okay. Um, But the lights were flashing. We got off the bus one day and we're going to person B's house. So it's maybe like a five minute walk. Not that serious. Okay. And probably less than that, but we walk slow as fuck. <laughs> so the lights are going. He gets off the bus and he's like, they're calling me. They're calling me. And he starts sprinting down the... Not the sidewalk. Like he was on air. <laughs> and he started, High on life. Thank you. Sprinting down the road. Not sidewalk. Road. Sh 
throwing off his shirt. Like, you know how they change into superhero? <laughs> and he... His sh- <laughs> but he didn't have a superhero costume underneath. Just straight boxers. Wait, so he, he didn't even, like, take his clothes off and hold it? He was throwing it? And we're just walking and picking it up. Like, oh, my God. <laughs> like... There Jack goes again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty much, pretty much. Like, yeah, you're right. Those those are the best moments that, like, you never forget. No, I was going to say, didn't didn't one of your friends, like, he would walk across the road and, like, take his time. Like, whether... This is the same one. Who stripped? I was going to say, I remember hearing stories about how he would walk across the road and he would take his time. And if the light's changing, he's not going to pick up his pace. Nothing. And if a car honks, he's going to stop and, and stare. stare at them. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's the one. Same one. Shut up. I would have never. I would have guessed the other one before I guessed no, him. No, swear. Wow. Yeah, you learn fucked. something about he's somebody. Fucked. You think you know a guy. <laughs> Yeah, man, that is crazy. Yeah. But like, really, life is what you make it, man. For sure, like, for sure. I don't know, like, just, I don't know. All I can say to people listening, and it truly doesn't matter what your age is, because I, I think that, like, society says it's more acceptable to, like, be stupid and do things mm-hmm. when you're younger. But, like, who the fuck cares? Like, you're not dead when you turn 20, 30, exactly. 40, 50. Like, have a good time. Yeah. Live your life. Be weird if that's what you want to do. If you want to yeah, be a Don't fucking... be disrespectful to no. other people. But... but that's the thing. We were just always doing our own thing. Like, yeah. we didn't bother anyone. We were just our own little weird selves or their own little weird friends. And, like... And that was it. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Those are the best moments. The good old days. Um, Now, we talked about old days. Mm-hmm. So Des has future plans. And what? First of all, that sentence alone. I know it's crazy. Des hardly ever has plans, let alone for the future. I'm I'm gonna say it, and I don't want to repeat it ever again in my life. Okay. Um, I was talking to somebody today, and we we're talking about stuff, and they were just like talking about their future and what they see, and blah blah. And they asked me, and I'm like, I don't think that far ahead. I like to cut the conversation short. People like to, ugh, I don't I don't have time for that. Mm-hmm. So it's not that I don't think that far ahead. I just don't have time to explain to anybody because now you're going to ask more and more questions. And Does this arch nemesis is questions? If oh, you guys, my God. If you guys have been listening to the oh podcast for a while, I think you know. God. <laughs> it's not that guy at your work. It's questions. No, it's questions for sure. For questions sure. Questions first, him second. Yeah. He's not even there anymore. So that's good. Oh. He got oh fired. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Stupid. For Des touching like, a man's I had, nipple. I had absolutely nothing to do with it. Oh shit, he did what? Yeah. Sexual harassment. Exactly. In the workplace. Get out of here, Bucko. What you call it? Bucko. I heard Blacko. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I no, was we, like, Des. <laughs> Des, that's too far. Like, We're going to have to cut that one out. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here, Blacko. <laughs> that's a good one. I like that one. Don't. Uh, no, I know what to say to he's, my it's friends. It's not a black guy. No. That's what I was like, no. shit. <laughs> Um, yeah, so, you already know in the near, not near, whoa, I don't want to talk about it now that I said near. In the future, I plan to eventually get married and all these things. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Nobody else knows this. The podcast knows. Yes, but nobody. Like, I'm talking to you guys, so. Oh, 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 I'm not just talking to you. No, but I'm, oh, oh, sorry, thought I you see how rude she is, guys? Oh she thinks she's the only one listening. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but I knew this outside the podcast. That's why I, I didn't... But nobody else does. Right. They still think Des is never getting married. Des is never this. Des is never that. They know now. That's why I'm saying it. Oh, you're putting it out there. I hear you. I see you. Okay. So... Wow. Can I be the flower girl? Um, Maybe. Oh, fuck off. I decided that whoever I marry... um. <gasps> I should marry you. Like, be the minister. Not marry you. <laughs> like, I, no, I should I was physically... like, Joe, I like sex. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. No, oh, my feelings are hurt. <laughs> I don't want to go anymore. I'm done. I meant physically be like, do you take this woman? Like, fuck you. That'd be cool. Nah, Are fuck you going to get you. your license? I would. That, I would love to that, marry somebody. That'd be cool. I would. <laughs> I feel like when I say it like that, no, I would love to marry a couple. Like oh, I would I'd love, love to, to marry somebody. I'd love to marry anybody. <laughs> At this point. Any takers? Any, no, no, no. I'd actually love to. It's not a minute. I guess. Yeah. You get ordained. Yeah. 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 Um, or I'd love to MC a, a, wedding. a wedding. Yeah. Because I'm good at public speaking. Yeah. I, I'm i okay to both those options. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, One, I, I don't think. Your like, family's going to be like, get the church pastor. No, no. They <laughs> See, know. I think you would prefer a normal person to yeah, do it. They because... know I won't care. They won't even bring that talk to me. 
What if I was like, in the eyes of God? You'd be like, out. <laughs> no. I would just turn and look at you slowly from the corner of my eye. And you'd be turn, like, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. Turn into church. I bring the choir in. You're like, no, <laughs> fuck, man. <laughs> um, no, but I would, I would, I would trust you. Whoever, whoever I do marry, um, I, I decided that whatever they want. I'm not going to argue with anything. But I feel like that would have always been the case for you. I don't think when it comes to weddings. No, the case for me was not getting married. But when it comes to weddings, what I know about you is this or new in the past. Mm -hmm. Des Wayne cares about two and a half things. Mm -hmm. One, the food, (laughs) the good food, chicken, Mm -hmm. especially like, you know, all that will be taste tested, but the food will be on point. Um, Two, the music. Since he can't DJ it himself, he's gonna sit down with the DJ and it's gonna the music is gonna be on point. The only other thing I know that you were kind of like, mm, I would like this, but doesn't matter. Again, this is back in the day, so you may have changed. Mm-hmm. Was your favorite color to be incorporated? Yes. Those are that's why I said two and a half. And like, that's why I'm okay with you MCing. If she was just <laughs> like, because I, I know, if if the woman was like, I hate that color, it doesn't go. Then you'd be like, fine, whatever. Yeah, as long yeah. as the other two, you had like a good significant yeah. say. Yeah. But aside from that, you're like, you want to get married at the top of the scene tower. You want to get married by the water. You want to get married in the in the woods. It, no problem. It doesn't matter. No Timbuktu. Problem. It does. Well, you prefer not to travel, but it doesn't matter. Exactly. <laughs> Yep. Yeah. <laughs> um, and it has to be open bar. I need everybody. True. To true. Be true. True. I forgot. Lit. Stupid. Lit. Not not incoherent, but just stupid. That's why I said lit. Yeah. Yeah. Litty. I feel like lit is just like woo. This is fun. Stupid is like you don't even have time to record it on your phone because you guys are fucked. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I I I think if I had a wedding, it would be like a great time. Probably. Yeah. 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 yeah, I can see that. I could see you emceeing my wedding. I think that'd be pretty cool. I think, yeah, literally, like, shit, my mom didn't pay for public speaking for, <laughs> for no reason. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. And at your wedding, I'll be like, if you have a question that you would like to submit. <laughs> <laughs> Just submit. <laughs> Welcome to This Square Room, Desi D's Wedding Edition. <laughs> <laughs> that'd be a great video. Could you imagine? That'd be a great video. Everything's content. Everything's Everything. content. Everything. <laughs> Oh, God, that's so funny. Okay, future plans. Yeah, I don't want to live in a house still, but... What do you mean? Like, I'm team condo. For sure. I fucking... You're, you're I, not a... I'm trying to shovel at uh, all yeah, hours man. of the moment. And, I, and that doesn't come from all me. hours of the moment. You didn't I even understand. hear it, but I, I, didn't. I heard myself... Because I was already listening to you yeah. while I was still talking. <laughs> Does that ever happen to you? Yeah. And then, like, I caught myself. Because if I didn't have the headphones on, I wouldn't have heard myself. Uh, I'm like, what the fuck are you saying? Yeah. Because I'm like, I was already... Pay- oh, anyways, go ahead. All hours um, of the night. It, for me, it's it's a traumatic thing. And it's not that I'm opposed to yard work and all these things. Mm-hmm. It's how it was brought to me as a child. It was... Yeah. It wasn't... It was a punishment. Yeah. Wake up 5 a.m. and shovel the snow and then go back to sleep for an hour and then wake up and get ready for school. I will say, literally, it's unmatched. Yeah. To yeah. not have to do that stuff. Oh, God. It is... And it's not like you do it once. You do it so many times, especially with the type of weather. Like when we get snowfall here, a lot of the time you have to like, it'll snow for like 12 hours and you have to shovel every hour on the hour. Yeah. Otherwise you're snowed in. You're fucked. You, you shovel once, but it doesn't stop. You uh-huh. don't want it to get like, it's just, it's a lot. It's a here. mess. So when that's taken care of. I gotta of, cut the grass. Once and, the condo uh, is like nice. Once you live in a yeah, condo that you're you like. Good. Yeah. Set. Yeah. 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 Um, so that, that would be my preference. Um, I don't mind like car stuff like i'm not team like let me change your brakes but i'm team i have friends who love to do this for free yeah you're not mr fix it no we we were having a conversation at work the other day um there's a guy that used to be my department and now he's he's one of the call it maintenance guys okay and i was talking to him i haven't seen him in a long time i'm like oh how do you like it he's like oh i love it da, 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 da. and he's like yeah i do this i do that i'm like yeah just stop talking because you're making me sick and he's like what do you mean this is good stuff i'm like I'm not a handyman. And she better not try to fix the fucking plumbing. She either. better not fix Y'all shit. Better go hire somebody. We are going to hire somebody. You guys have a guy for that. <laughs> Done did. Why am I taking people's job from them? Why would I do that? <laughs> hey, Des Wayne is out here creating jobs and employment for people. You are helping the economy. I'm trying to at least. Wow. Thank you. Thank what you. an upstanding citizen. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> you did not do that. <laughs> oh my god! I wish people could have seen that. So extra. 
<laughs> no, but nice. Love that. So we will be looking forward to that in, yeah. in the future. Yeah. I'll be excited for it when it comes. Nice. Okay. Um. Oh, I was actually going to say, look, let's get into a listener question, but you mentioned something earlier and I need to know what the hell you're talking about. All you said was erotic massage and like you, you got my, my, my ears went, like, <laughs> so I, what, what? <laughs> so I was watching this video. Okay. I mean, as every story of yours starts. Yes. Usually the videos on porno. Yeah. <laughs> was it? No, 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 oh. no, 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 no. <laughs> and a girl and a guy were talking. They were clothed, fully clothed, just having oh. a conversation. So definitely not on porno. No. And she was like, oh, like, you know, do you give erotic massages? Like, is that something you like to do? And he's like, is yeah. Is he a masseuse? Or just- no, no, just a regular guy. Okay. And he was like, yeah, of course. You know, of course I love doing that. Da, da. She's like, okay, but isn't, like, is it a massage or is it just like. I'm going to rub you for two seconds and stick my dick in Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, of course, he gave the answer we all expect. And she started laughing. She's like, that's not a massage. Yeah. What the fuck do you expect us to do? What do you expect? Listen, men. Yes, I need to listen to because this happened not too long ago. With you. Yeah. She you, you, gave you me. Pulled, you pulled a little, let me rub your back. Let me go down to your butt and let me just spread the cheeks and just put it she in. She gave me yeah. a full out body massage. Mm, great. She she did a little licky licky, but it was fine. Not a big deal. But Dad. Now it's her turn. She gave you a full body massage and what did you it do It was great. Her turn? I gave her some dick. No. I understand. Was so, like, yes. What was I supposed no, to do? Here's the thing. Yes, like if she wants that, that's fine. But the dick cannot come first, and it can't. Like you have to give the full body massage back. You got to tell her lay on your back. No, you I said lay start- on your front. She's like, Des, can I lay on my? No, I'm like, yeah, lay on your back. She wanted me to start. Oh, sorry, lay on your front. Sorry, yeah. sorry, that's what I meant. Yeah, yeah, that's right. why I said the opposite. So I'm like, no, lay on your back. She's like, Des, I'm like, lay on no. your back. And she's like, oh my God, Des, da, 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 da. you're not going to massage me. I'm like, of course I am. Immediately breasts. Yeah, exactly. Immediately vagina. Des, that's not a massage. That's an assault. <laughs> <laughs> the girl thought she was getting one thing. Getting- <laughs> <laughs> that's trespassing. <laughs> Breaking and entering. <laughs> uh, oh my god. Sorry. I need to write this down. That would make a good clip. <laughs> um Yeah, so with with the erotic mas- like No, hold on. So what you need to do you okay. need to later. Yeah, I need stomach. to hear this. Mm-hmm. You need a, a nice body oil that is not super, super oily would I actually have one. be best. Not necessarily baby oil. No, like a oil, massage oil. Yeah, right? Yeah. So one that like it's oily, but it dries down quickly. Because okay. baby oil, you can like, it can be really greasy. And then yeah. you get down on your sheets, and, you know, whatever. <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> like, that's what I think about. But no, like a nice, so you have massage oils and you just straight for the boobs, straight for the vagina. Dead. My dick is hard! <laughs> like, <laughs> by the time I finish your massage, I don't want to do nothing. I'm tired. It's not about you, sir. And you can do other things aside from your dick. You can use your mouth. You can use your hands. I did that too. After though, not the massage comes first. The massage is like a, it's, it's like foreplay. No. And it feels good. Think about how much better she will feel if she's fully relaxed to just jump into that stuff. The sex would be better. After you come, you're fully relaxed. No, it's not. I mean, it is like, (laughs) <laughs> nice for women but it's not i know men are just like i am like drained i'm done it's not the same for women some women are like let's go like they get energy from it so it depends on so let's go again <sighs> anyways you gotta start with like the shoulders especially most people carry a lot of tension in the shoulders mm-hmm. upper back you do the lower back but you also have her arms at her side you do the arms when people do that like palm thing oh it feels so nice when they rub your palms I only get that when I go get my nails done because you know that's <laughs> yeah. the only person massaging me but only you- person <laughs> touching me <laughs> but like you know what I mean um and then you do like the legs you do the thighs you can do the butt but to be honest I can't Here's well, that's the thing. What you got to do is like the upper part where the butt starts and right below. Because truthfully, I mean, you can again, you can rub the butt, but the butt is mostly fat unless she has a gym booty in which you do want to get in there Mm -hmm. because you want to massage the muscles. But if her butt is mostly like fat, then you want to get the muscles in the in the thighs and the legs and then the feet. She's on her feet all day. You got to rub her down like you got to do all of that. And then once you have hit every area and I don't just mean a little boop 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 I'm done you gotta like spend a couple minutes there's no reason why this should be any less than 10 minutes and that is on the short end cause from top to bottom 10 minutes that's quick okay 
Ten and minute. then <laughs> you go back up the body. Now, because you worked your way down, right? I said 10 minutes minimum. I was going to say 20, but I'm like, I can't say that to Des. Des will have a great... <laughs> yeah, to great. <laughs> 10 minutes is nothing. This is so hard. Mister, I can go for 45 minutes to four hours. It doesn't matter. You're asking me, Des. I'm just a man. Restrain you yourself. For 10 minutes. Why? You know, if we know where this is going, no, why? Because it makes her, one, reciprocation. Especially if, that, if acts of service are her love language, she will appreciate that. Two, it fucking feels good. Like I said, it's part of the foreplay and it's just like if a, we're not it's having a sex, edged sword. If we're not having sex, no problem. I'll rub you down. No problem. So then maybe she needs to, and especially, I hope she's listening. What you need to do is tell him that sex is completely off the table. I wouldn't believe and then you. Su- and then surprise him with it. I wouldn't believe you. Be like, surprise, pussy. I wouldn't believe you. <laughs> 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 no, but seriously, actually, what I think you should do, you start from the top down, like I said, you should skip the butt. And then when you go back up, that's when you can get into that because then there's no self control for you once you hit the booty. So then I you can't. just go yeah, exactly right. So then you skip it and then hit it back on the I way up. I can't hit it back on the way up. You want to? You like? I want to hit it down. I want to hit it up. I want to <laughs> hit see it what I'm saying? <laughs> Now you're telling me to tell her, you know, spread your legs a little bit to get get in. Her pussy's looking at me. Don't look back at it. Turn high. Oh, okay. So how about this? The rule is she keeps her underwear on until the time is ready. So it's not Fucking looking at hell. you. Fucking hell. You don't know me. <laughs> You're like, pull it to the side. Sorry, keep no. it on. Don't worry. You don't have to take it off. As, where the Joe fuck said don't take from? it off. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where the accent come from. And don't you dare cut the massage short and say, well, Joe said, I'm not going to take credit for that. I said, after every area has been touched for a couple minutes, then we can go into that. I will try, but I'm not making promises. I'm not gonna lie to you. I would tell her to never give you even even a little shoulder rub. Not even not even a pat on the back. <laughs> you don't deserve it. I would literally like I'm a child. I will literally roll in the corner and be like, hmm. So I you want them so Oh my god, you sound like a friend of mine. <laughs> I hope... Well, I mean you are a friend of mine, but you know <laughs> You are no friend to me, sir. Um, no, it's funny because I have <laughs> these friends and um, they're a couple. So I'll be like talking to them and the the, the male in the couple, the man, is, mm-hmm. will be like, oh, I asked for a massage and she just kind of barely rubbed me down. Keep in mind, I feel, I feel like she does a decent job, but I think he wants like longer, deeper. Like he wants her to like go fucking Swedish massage. Yeah, that's like, what I'm getting. Like my name is Olga on your ass. That's what I'm getting. And like, I'm getting elbows in the back. No, it feels and I'm, so fucking good. No, I'm good. pretty sure she does that, but I think he wants more. Like, he's like, keep going. Why'd you stop? Right? Yeah. So for him, it's like, it was like two seconds, but it really wasn't. I think it's like, she's like, yo, my hands are tired, which is which is a fair point. Because like, I've given people, especially so- shoulder massages, mm-hmm. when you get in there, like your fingers are... I'm of like, course. I'm like, I'm done. See, the thing is with you, that wasn't the point that you brought up. If you were like, it really hurts me and like my hands can't... No. No. You're just saying, I just can't resist. Yeah. Have some self-control. It's crazy. That's why when you're like, I want a massage, me, 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 you remind me of my friend because he's like, it wasn't, it wasn't good enough. What type of massage is this? A couple years ago, um, I have, a, I had a friend, we don't speak anymore, but I had a friend who was going to school to be a masseuse. Mm-hmm. So she was like, Dez, I got to practice. Can I practice on you? I'm not going to fucking say no. Did it? You being everyone's like test dummy. Because okay. when I was like, Des, I need to like learn how to pierce ears and they told me that I can like pierce someone like can i pierce you yep. i've never done it before i've never practiced but like can you let me when make I told a pe- hole in your body permanently and you're like sure when i tell people that they're like you didn't hesitate or nothing i'm like no i was literally like really and you're like, yeah i was like yeah i felt sure? like you didn't think i was gonna show up well because like i wouldn't <laughs> <laughs> like i'd be like I, you can do me like after you've done a few people but like to be the test yeah, okay with that. you've only like punctured through like little paper and styrofoam before me my no. my my hand tattoo mm-hmm. first the- time uh yeah. Um, the t- the tattoo artist yeah. was her first time. Or his, his his first time. Oh shit! Listen, everyone has to start somewhere. I don't and I don't mind. And you got pierced for free. You got the earring for free. And was the tattoo like at a discount? Yeah. Yeah. This is what I'm saying. Yeah. Right? Like, like it's not a big deal yeah. to me. It's not that deep. Um. Yeah. Well, I would hope so because the ink has to go fairly. Fact. I'm just well, like I. I and also with the piercing, it has to go said, all the way through. Because if it doesn't go through, then it's then just, you're fucked. Just stabbing you at this point. <laughs> I mean, I really technically did. Yeah. But, you know. Um. Yeah. So I went to her house. She like she's like Des. I want to do this from top to bottom in sense of like I'm gonna run through the steps. I'm gonna pretend you're a customer and I'm gonna read you the rules okay. and yeah, no nice. problem. 
So I'm playing along. I'm doing the whole thing. Mm -hmm. You know, there's a couple of things that she did where I'm like, no, we're going to do this again. Because if I'm a customer, da, 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 you know, this is what I would like to hear. You know, you're saying it like fair. Yeah. Fair. So, okay, cool. So she tells me what to do. She's like, okay, take this, you know, wrap it around yourself. Let me know when you're done. Just give two knocks. I'll come and I'll get you and we'll enter the room. Da-da. She had the lights going, the candles, the music. The oh, the spa Ooh, music. Okay. Way. <laughs> so now she's like, okay, you know, you know, can you please lay on your back? Da-da-da. Because even like on the paper, like where do you have the most pain and Oh, shit. Stuff. It was like super fish. Yeah. Super. Mm-hmm. Lay down on my stomach. No problem. She starts massaging. I tell her I feel uncomfortable. Why do you feel uncomfortable? She had the towel over me, like, you know, folded a certain way. Mm -hmm. Des Wayne took his boxers off. Des. Yeah. Keep going. Keep going. When I say (laughs) she massaged the fuck out of me for like an hour, I slept. I woke up. She was still massaging. My dick got hard, got soft, still massaging. You know it's good because, like. When you think about it, to be able to fall asleep while someone is working oh into your body, God. like actively, you know, it's like, oh, you know, I, it I has didn't tell to her how good. good it was, but it was so yeah. good. I always feel bad. And when I wanted I start to have to, like, sex. When you... I tr- there, like, there we go, ladies while, and gentlemen. While, there we go. <laughs> while she was massaging me, like I had my hand and I was kind of rubbing her and she's like, excuse me, sir, you're not allowed to touch me. Please keep yeah. your hands I'm like, what the fuck are we doing? She should have been like, like, you know, the little slap. No. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, listen, this ain't no happy ending. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. No, we didn't have sex then though. We had sex later, but oh and I yeah, yeah. I was mad <laughs> as fuck. The massage was great though. Well she was trying to be professional. You yeah, can't... and I, I I'm not mad at that, but I was mad as fuck. <laughs> oh god, that is so funny. That's definitely not what I thought you were gonna say when you're like, Oh, erotic massage. <laughs> um but yes, okay, so let's get into a listener question. Yes. What do you think? All right, if you are listening and you have a question, a story, a comment, whatever it is, if you want to submit something into the podcast to be a part of the show, we would love to hear from you. Today, oh, I don't think I even said it's <laughs> thissquareroom.com. Um, yeah, thissquareroom.com. It's in all our links, everything. You know, you know the drill. You guys know. Um, okay, today we have, um, okay, we have Rebecca who is writing in, and she says, new school, new friends. She says, hello, Jonelle and Des Wayne. Big fan. I'm hoping the two... (gasps) She said her name? Yeah. Oh, hey, Rebecca. Hey, Bex. She didn't say that's her name. I know, but, like, we're friends now. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) First of all, you're the king of giving me I know, right? (laughs) You were two seconds from calling her I didn't say it first. That's why I was. (laughs) You just... (laughs) If you beat me to it, I'm going to shame you for it. (laughs) Um, yeah. Hello, Jonelle and Deswayne. Big fan. I'm hoping the two of you can help me with something. I'm entering the 12th grade at a new school. My family recently moved states and I have zero friends here. I had a few good friends who I grew up with, but now we live in different time zones. I'm somewhat of an introvert, so the idea of making new friends is kind of scary to me. Do you guys have any advice for me to settle in and hopefully make some new friends? Thanks, Rebecca. And she's going to grade 12? Yes. Okay. I feel like that is kind of unfortunate because it's like yeah the the last year that's what I was gonna people say people are already clicked up and whatever you're gonna scare her no 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 oh, okay. but there's a <laughs> okay okay I'm saying it's it's different than like I feel like in grade nine even ten people you, are still kind of you get a lot of like new people or new, new friends clicks. group forming yeah. right yeah and then eleventh grade is when things kind of solidify for the most part. And then 12th, you're like, whatever. And then the unfortunate part is when you do make friends, sometimes you don't end up going to the same schools yeah. and whatever. With that being said, I think most people are, all, especially at that age, like you're always down to like meet new friends. And if you click with someone, you're going to click with someone, whether you met them in the 12th yeah. grade or the Their second Their friends grade. become your friends. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And, right? Like you meet someone and then they're like, oh, come sit with us at lunch. And then you meet their people. Yeah. And like, yeah. maybe you don't get along with 100% of them, but you're like, oh, a lot of these people are really cool. And then you make new connections and it kind of snowballs. All you really need is like one connection. Yeah maybe two for safety you know two different friend groups but like you know um how to do that i have some ideas but des i'll let you take it away um okay i i didn't do the same like same thing that happened to you so i went to one school grade nine grade 10 and half of grade 11 and the other it wasn't even half it was more than half 
So I changed schools in and end of March, April, maybe April. Let's call it April. Oh, yeah. Early April, I went to a new school, which leaves, what, two months left of school? Yeah. And then school's out for the summer. So when I changed schools, I knew one person. And actually, I lied. I knew two, but I only spoke to one of them. Um, and it was, and I say it was different for me because when I got to the school, everybody already knew who I was because they went on Facebook and looked me up and all this stupid shit, but whatever. Mm. I changed friend groups 18 times. <laughs> In those two months, like I I spoke to a couple people and it turns out that, you know, they weren't the cool people, but I didn't care. And then I oh, thought you're going to say that's why you weren't friends. With, like, <laughs> you're not the cool ones. Bye. No, no, no. I just like I talked to everybody, mm-hmm. but, you know, I was more comfortable talking to certain people first and then these people after because these people were too loud and I'm like, chill. Mm-hmm. So, yes, yes. I understand that you are you are scared and I don't want to say scared, more so nervous. She said she's introverted, so she's naturally just like more to, to herself. herself. So I don't think she's going to be the type. Like, I remember what I used to get for years, especially in elementary school. Like, my teachers would always be like a social butterfly. It's mm-hmm. like, I was the type of like flutter. Chat this too group. much. No, no, no. It's not that. Chat it's like, too I, much. shut up. What about you? Puh, please. I got along with like every little friend group. So I'd like be friends with, over here and friends over here. But like, obviously you have the people that yeah. you are core with and the most comfortable with but um people who are introverted may not necessarily be well no i i think people will come to her and she just has to be open with that right regardless of we had given someone else on a past episode advice and oh uh, dating advice yes yes it's It's almost the same thing exactly yes literally friendships are just are dating without the sexual attraction yeah yeah. right it's like sometimes you you try out a friendship and it doesn't work sometimes you have breakups sometimes you know things don't go as planned but like yeah i i think being open yeah um being receptive and being friendly when people approach you and also not being afraid to like initiate conversations exactly even if it's like listen you're in school so you have the best excuse oh like did you get the homework for this class you guys got group projects together right like one thing about being in school is it forces you to interact you don't yeah. it doesn't force you to be friends but it gives you a reason to have an interaction with someone so if you interact and you see something in them that you like or they see something in you and then you know you guys start talking like oh my gosh do you watch blah 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 oh my gosh yeah i do do you there there are people out there who are who are like me whereas if i see that you're introverted into yourself but i have a class with you and you're sitting by yourself at lunch you know maybe i'll start off with just a smile and a wave and then as the days and weeks go on now I'm going to sit and talk to you and introduce you to 100%. people. And, you know, right away, we're not going to be best friends, obviously, not day one. I mean, there's some people that you do, but if you're some an introvert... Some people you click with, and that's always so nice. Exactly, yeah. yeah. And what what I like to do is, um, like, because I like to talk a lot, like <laughs> Joe said, I chat too much. Um, I like to, you know, when the teacher's like, okay, guys, we're going to say one thing about yourself and X, Y, Z, whatever. Mm-hmm. One of those social opening kind of things at the beginning of the year. I like to say that, like, I love to talk and I'll talk to everybody Mm -hmm. because that's how I am. So to you, like, you know, if that does happen and you're kind of shy, just say it, you know, I'm kind of shy and, you know, this is my first year here. I used to live in da, 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 da. Right. That's a good starting point too. I lived across the country. Have you ever been there? Oh no. Like, and then somebody else would be like, Oh yeah. We're from, Chicago are you from? And they're like, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, my uncle. And <laughs> or like, I've always wanted to visit there. Like, what's cool there? You yeah. talk about it and talk about yourself. Yeah. I feel like the new kid always has Ugh, the some best. sort of, like, allure to yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. Like, you're automatically going to be interesting. If you go in and you're interesting and completely closed off, they'll be like, oh, I'm interested, but, like, I'm getting stay away vibes, and they'll stay away. So that's why we say be open, and, like, people will be interested in you naturally. And so some people will definitely reach out and they may not necessarily be your friends, but like, it's a good starting yeah, point. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. like you make some acquaintances and then they develop into friends or maybe they say as acquaintances, but like, it's, it's a good way to get your foot in the door. Even though you and your friends are in different time zone as well. Don't, don't stop. Like, don't use that as an excuse to stop speaking to your friends. Make new friends. 
but keep the old. Yes, yes. One is silver and the other gold. Jeez, bars. Bars. <laughs> <laughs> Call me Biggs, y'all. <laughs> 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 Um, yeah, so I, I think I think you'll be okay. I hope you'll be okay. I know you will be okay. We know she'll be okay. I know she'll be okay. Bex, you got you're it. you're overthinking it and that's natural. That's okay, you know. Of course. It's, it's a, a new a thing. Totally natural. Just don't let those fears and like anxieties about starting a new school and a new place um you know, overwhelm you. Yeah. They're totally normal to have, but keep them in your back pocket. Don't lead with that. Don't and you know I mean easier said than done for yeah, sure. Yeah, exactly. But like, just remind yourself. Be like, hey, listen, everyone. Everyone had felt this at even, some point. At some point, even for me, like starting my high school. Um, even though I knew people who were going there, it's like the the number of people you know from your elementary school who transferred Dwindle. over to your high school. It is crazy. Dwindle. My high school was like the biggest in my city at at the time. I think yeah. it maybe still is. But like, so there were so many kids. So like, what the. I would say maybe like half the kids I graduated with from grade eight went to my school. Yeah. And like we only had two two grade eight classes. Mm-hmm. So like what, 60 kids? Yeah, about so I knew 30 people out of hundreds, hundreds. in my grade alone, yeah. let alone thousands in the whole school. Like yeah. it was, a, it was a, there were a lot of kids there. So it was just like, although you saw a face you maybe knew, it felt like I was starting fresh. So And I'm I was sure the opposite. Oh, you knew I, most of the people. I knew not a blood clot. In ninth grade? Ninth grade, I went to a school that I did not know a single mm. soul. So when I got there, the it was crazy. I got there the first day and like, I'm not someone to really be nervous, but I was kind of nervous and I was like, shit, you know, all these new faces, everyone knows each other and I don't know anybody. Yeah. So I go and as soon as I get out of my mom's car, I hear my name. There was this girl that went to my elementary school who we graduated together, mm. but I didn't know she was coming here. Right. So we talk. I mean, her don't really talk like. Yeah, but it's like a familiar face. Exactly. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So then, you know, we were talking about our schedules. We had no classes together, but she already walked the whole school. So she kind of knew what floors were where and whatever. Mm-hmm. So she walked me to all four of my classes where they would be. Oh. And then I went straight to my first period class and I sat there and. You had four classes? Yeah, semester. So we had four, one semester, and then four next semester. Oh. No, my, my school was not semestered. We had day one, day two. Yeah, I, I couldn't do that I actually shit. preferred that. That would drive me crazy. Because I feel like you, you spend the whole year learning something. Like, you're not I as don't want concentrated. To do that. But then, like, you get you still get to see everyone. You get the, the different days. I don't you like get that. The, I don't like every semester. Like, your lunch can change. Everything can change. Every, like, you yes. know? For this one, for the year, you're good. And then, like, if you need to switch things to, like, be with your friends or whatever, you do that. I remember, like, I knew so little people in ninth grade that when... So, you know, I went to elementary school with this one kid and like totally not what people would have considered to be my type. Um, my, some of my friends still kind of laugh, not necessarily at him, but it's just like the situation opposites. Yeah. But like we went to elementary school together and then we had a math class together in ninth grade. So it's like you start talking and you start bonding and then you're just like, oh, my gosh, like, you know, we weren't really I, I was branching out with like the girls that I was meeting, but I feel like I wasn't meeting like guys. Any guys. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I feel like it was the same for him. So we, <laughs> let me show you a picture of him. It's funny. Cause he still looks the same. I think his hair is longer now, but like, he still looks the same. Uh, but like, yeah, it basically was like, okay, like we're just going to date. We legit dated for nine days mm, before, before it was like, oh, okay, yeah, we don't need to do this. Yeah. But like, great guy but it was just like you know you feel you find comfort in yeah. the something people something familiar yeah I just saw him literally the other day but I can't remember what his in Instagram in, in all four of my classes in grade 9 somebody disrespected me on the first day why uh, my first class was math I was sitting there teacher was sitting at her desk it was her first day teaching also so me and her already got off on a good start. And this girl walks into the class and says, ugh, and walks out. So obviously that here, here. ugh was directed towards. Uh, was yes. I, no. Why did you look at the phone and pass it back? Because I looked at one picture and I said no. 
funny. That was my my first boyfriend in high school. That's cute. That's cute. He has nice eyes. Yeah. I think a couple of them, maybe not so much, but. But go go to the top, like his current, oh, oh. or I guess most recent. Yeah, he like grew out his hair and shit now. He looks a little different, but. Yeah, yeah. He just looks more mature now, but still the same face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. Yeah. Still yeah, sucks. You know pictures, that though. that was my element. Well, most men do, Fact. to be honest. Most straight men Especially can't take pictures me. for shit. <laughs> but yeah, no, that was my uh, experience. Oh. It's just easier when you're just like, oh, like, let me create a bond with this person rather than branching out, which is why I say just be open. And nothing's wrong with connecting with someone from your past in a new way. Yeah. But don't be closed off to other things. Yeah, That's all. Yeah, for sure. Just take your time. No rush. You have a whole school year ahead. Yeah, it's okay if, you know, things don't pop off immediately or, you know. And I I didn't go to my graduation. Um, I didn't go to grad or I didn't go to prom. Um, And I I didn't go to prom because two reasons. One, I won't say. Um, (laughs) but, (laughs) But the other one was because, like, you guys went to school for two, three, four years together. I met you a year ago and like, yeah, we're good friends and everything. Oh, you felt like an I, outsider? I felt like I was intruding on their their closing chapter. I feel you. I totally get you. But it's they like, disagree with me. Of course. I, I get it. And Rebecca, I I hope you don't yeah, why that's you even I was, say that. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> and that's what I was saying for her not to feel yeah, that way. Don't feel that way. Because yeah. like the same way that I'm just like, no, of course not. And all your friends, all your classmates were like, no. Yeah. They're like, that's what the fuck are you well. talking about? Of course, there's people who've known each other probably since like kindergarten there, but yeah. there's also you're I doubt you're the only new person that year. No. And no. you're even if you are, there's there have been new people throughout since the year. Then, yeah. For sure. And they went. Ev- everyone starts off new, everyone starts off fresh yeah. and scared and just, you know. Yeah, for do sure. Do your thing. And like to be honest, oh my god, it's so much better to be home by yourself on the weekend. Did she say like where she like where she moved from or she just said that? No, she just said across the country, like enough for different like, I think like east to west or west to oh, east okay, coast, okay. you know, like time zones. I guess central, but oh. no, she didn't she didn't specify. Yeah, and just be be who you are, especially because you're meeting new people. Don't feel like you have to like lie to them or put on a personality to be like, Okay, they'll be my friend if I say I like this or I do this. So just just be you. Be you. People will like you for who you are. Yeah, a hundred percent. And good luck. Thank you for Let that. us know how it goes. Yeah, thank you for listening. Oh, wait, wait. Let me know about I your first like, day of school. I feel like it's our daughter going off I to know. School. I was about to say that. She's so nervous. They grow up so fast. I can't believe this. It was like 10 minutes ago. We just brought her home. <laughs> <laughs> but no, seriously, good luck. Don't sweat it. Just be open and just focus on yourself and the right people will be attracted to your personality because you seem like a very sweet girl. Um, right? With that being yeah. said, everybody else who is going to grade 12 and this is their or uh, fifth year and this is your final year of high school. True. Like our homie Mikey. Exactly. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Um, do you guys Mikey have any shit? Honestly, I'm not going to lie to you. You wanted to cuss him too. I wanted to cuss him, but I, I purposely kept I know, it in. I know. I did it. Uh-huh. <laughs> You know when, like, you want to say something, but you're like, yes. I'm I was going to cuss him you, last you, week. You're like, I'm glad I didn't have yeah, to. Yeah, I was going to cuss him last week, and I'm like, okay, maybe I'm doing too much. So last last <laughs> you week. You cussed out Jacob, so you're like, let, exactly. me, you're like, let me keep it yeah. one per episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so if you guys have any advice for, for Rebecca, who is a bit nervous, and you know, how would you guys approach the situation? Or do you oh, guys like have mm-hmm. anything to tell her, you know, to kind of help her feel more i don't want to say secure but help her adjust easier yeah, yeah thank I you think it's, thank you you know she seems to be very secure in herself like if you exactly. can say like you That's know what I, I, I know i'm an introverted person and i know i did it up but I, I i miss my friends i'm a it's not only a new school it's yeah. a new area like everything is new to her you know so i understand why that could just be like they moved across the country or whatever yeah yeah maybe they start school already i don't know because she wrote, this is a old post, right? This is a old. No, this email came in like two weeks ago. Okay. so Listen, y'all, sometimes yeah. if you email and I don't get to it right away, 
we will just yeah <laughs> you just know. hold on yeah <laughs> just hold on we're gonna enter okay i tried i'm so sorry i did try i i, I tried yikes i tried jesus every every fucking wannabe rapper in toronto trying fact, to be jake you know what i mean fact. um i don't know most places on like the east coast i feel start school like the same time we do like right after labor day okay but i know some schools like i think start earlier yeah some yes. some kids are being in school since the beginning of fucking august yes, and i'm like yes, that's crazy yes, yeah. so it depends on where she lives she could have already been in school but she wrote this like mid she she definitely wasn't one who started in the beginning of august okay. because she said she well she said she's entering i mean maybe she could have started i don't know i i took it as she's about to yeah yeah so did i but either way even if she gets this a week or two into school It'll starting the advice still stands yeah, yeah. But yeah, thank you again, Rebecca, and it's thissquareroom.com if you want to submit any type of question, story, comment, whatevs. <clears throat> Des Wayne. That's me. Question. Answer. What would you do if you felt no fear? I would do everything. What's everything? Like, name like, a couple. I would bungee jump. I would skydive. I would... Like, like go on the scariest shit you can think of just because I can and it doesn't affect me. Are you like a roller coaster guy? Um, not really. Mm. Like, I'm not. I'm one of those people who like, you're like, oh, are, is he actually scared or is he doing this for comedic purposes? Like, I'll get on the roller coaster and I'll be like, yeah, yeah, whatever. And Arms as, and legs flailing in the air. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I don't want to be here no more. I don't. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've never been to an amusement park with you. You have, but not for rides. Like for the like the Halloween shit. Yes, yes. Like we haven't like no, mm, no. Mind me, I never want no, to. No, you don't. You don't. You're bad enough with the Halloween. I purposely shit. don't go to them anymore. <laughs> another no, no, it's room not idea. another nothing. <laughs> I'm just saying that could be some good content, <laughs> guys. Tell them. <laughs> um, okay. So no fear, you would just, you would do like, kind of like nerve wracking shit, like roller coasters, yeah. bungee jumping, yeah. skydiving, that's it. But thing. I would be like, I, I don't think I would tell people right away that like, I have no fear. I would like. I don't think you would even realize that first. You'd be like, be like, oh, like, are you nervous? Are you scared? You're like, no, I'm not. And then you would like, as more and more things come up, you're like, wait, I'm never scared anymore. I'd be the like, macho it, man. That's what be- I mean. I'll protect you, babe. Get yourself killed. <laughs> <laughs> Dead. No fear doesn't mean your skill level goes up, you know? <laughs> okay, what would you do if you felt no pain? Oh, boxing. Oh, yeah? I'd be a fighter. Oh, I could see that. I'd be a fighter for sure. Oh, interesting. Yeah. I could definitely see that for you. Hmm. I, I, these are questions I've thought about my whole life. Really? Yeah. I saw an episode of uh, Jerry Springer or Maury and somebody felt like no pain and the problem was like her her hand was on the stove and mm. somebody had to like grab her yeah, hand yeah, yeah, and yeah. It, yeah i've heard about stuff like that did you hear about the eight-year-old named olivia farnsworth oh jesus Christ! she currently what a has the only <laughs> does wayne she... i'm olivia farnsworth <laughs> that's what i hear <laughs> i hate you she has the only known case of chromosome 6 deletion where she doesn't feel pain, fear, hunger, or the need to sleep. The hunger's fucked up. You would eat for fun. You wouldn't eat. But you love chicken. Oh, I would you can, eat you for fun. You can still fucking taste, taste buds, yeah. yeah. So you would eat for fun. But the thing is, yeah, I guess. If you don't you feel s- hunger, do you feel that you're full? I would think so. You're full, but you don't get hungry. Yeah. That's fucking crazy. Because full is not, it's the opposite. Like, it, you know, because it does say she, like, those are the emotions she doesn't feel. So she will feel happiness. She can feel nervous. Oh, but her stomach can still growl and stuff, technically. Yeah. So like she'll your, know your it's body, time to your eat. Your body sends. Indications. Yeah. But for, okay, the thing is, so you mentioned it. There's a woman who wasn't feeling any, like her pain receptors yeah. were fucked up. And she fucked herself up. Yeah. Basically, like first degree. For sure. No, sorry, third degree third burns. Degree. Yeah. yeah. And it's like. 
for this little girl, I feel like that is so dangerous. For sure. Because As a kid, for sure. It's dangerous for anyone, but it's like I feel like children are more are naturally more curious, more reckless, yeah. more, you know, and it's like fear and what is it? Fear and pain. That's crazy. They keep us in check. Because like, I can legit. drop down the stairs, break my ankle, stand up like nothing, and drop right back down and not know nothing. That's what I'm That's saying. That's terrifying. I mean, to be honest, I didn't like that. Because that was kind of triggering what you said. I'm not going to lie to you. When I said it, I thought it was okay. But then you had a look in your eyes. But I was already finished the sentence pretty much. And I was like, oh, I know, I know. No, no, no. It's funny. that It's just funny that you say that. Like, no joke. Like, jokes aside, like, that actually was very triggering. (laughs) (laughs) No, but it's true. It's like, that shit tells you when enough is enough. Yeah, yeah. The fear tells you, okay, maybe this, this isn't is not, safe. Yeah, yeah. Let me check the harness. Let me check the, like, the fucking let sound me not do that's it. going around TikTok and the guy's like, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> have you seen the full video? Yeah. For anyone who hasn't, I, you have to have heard the sound, but this guy is about, it's kind of like a bungee jump, but he's like on, on a, chair, a chair and they're about to push him over and he's like trying to reason with them just because he's scared. Yeah. But like, it's so funny and like, that is his body trying to protect itself. Yeah. yeah. Like, I don't think you should be fucking scared of everything, no. but having fear. I think she should be a stunt double. Having yeah. fear. No, because she'll just do the stunt. Like, forget, like, the safety net at the bottom. Let me just chuck myself off this burning No, building. but they would still do, you yeah, know? Yeah, but she'd be like, who needs it? Woo! <laughs> she has no fear. No, she, there's nothing to regulate that. No, just stop. <laughs> stop. No, seriously. And then, like, sleep. Here's the thing. She doesn't feel the need to sleep, but your body needs it. Yeah, exactly. That's like, and just like hunger. To that point, you don't feel hungry, she but would your just body shut down. needs fuel. Like that is life yeah. threatening. Yeah, the sleep one is crazy. You're either gonna get into reckless shit, or even if you're not doing reckless shit, if you're not remembering to eat or sleep, your body's just gonna shut what down. Are you a fucking vampire? <laughs> <laughs> All she needs is the ability to fucking heal herself. She might be able. Might whoa, forget it. She might be. Someone able commented. To. They said, "Hot damn, Miss Marvel." <laughs> <laughs> her little fists are like up in the air like yeah i can do anything oh, and it's like yo that's scary as much as i don't want my kids to be fucking scared of everything or yeah, like yeah. you know like i i it's me i let me find around <laughs> stop i'm the new miss marvel well, she's like the real life i'm not afraid of anything des stop doing the nasally voice you're not just doing a little girl you know she has glasses and what you're doing is a typical, oh, oh yeah she you're, does you're doing a typical like nerdy voice yeah, don't do that because that's what her name sounds like a she'll, nerd she'll beat your ass des and not think twice don't do it don't do it <laughs> and if you if you hit her back you're going to jail she's not feeling nothing do you go to jail for assaulting someone who feels no pain? Yes, it's still assault. Oh, <laughs> it's still assault. So. Okay, just making sure. Just make, <laughs> I knew that. I was just making sure you knew that. <laughs> what? Nope, never mind. She's eight. Forget it. What? I was, what? I'm speaking in the future, and I feel wrong speaking. Ew, about the ew, ew. I know what you're gonna say. Yep. Everyone listening knows what you're gonna yep. say. If you don't know, you don't bless, need, bless yeah, your soul. Yeah, good for and you. And I don't mean that in a passive aggressive no, way. Like seriously, no. bless your heart. Yeah, I agree. Oh my god, what is wrong with you? I'm, you just went from I'm gonna leave you for <laughs> You see you have everywhere. <laughs> oh my god. No, I'm imitating you. I don't think that she That didn't hurt. Oh god, I'd be so annoyed. What a loser. No, I'm not not actually No, I'm not saying her, but just oh. like the way you did the like Because that's what she does. That hurt you? That didn't hurt me. Like you can you don't have to I'm be stronger than you. Well no, she doesn't have super strength. No, but when she punches the wall, it's not gonna hurt her. True. Exactly. But she's mm, fair. I guess that's how she strong, makes her friends. She's stronger in terms of like what she can take. Yeah. That's Maybe how she makes she her friends. Hit me. I dare you. I bet it won't hurt. Oh, girls hate her. Punch in your fucking face. Well, no. Not not this girl. This hypothetical girl that we're No, 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 no. Not Olivia Franz. Stop. Uh, leave the child alone, yo. What is wrong with you? Oh, my God. Who hurt you when you were eight? What's wrong with her parents? <laughs> I don't know. Mm, I wonder if they have know. like. A chroma, like what causes that? Her name. <sighs> well, you know what's funny? Um, I think the reason that they found this out about her, cause what if she's eight? What year was she born? Mm, what year are we in? We're in twenty twenty two. Twenty fourteen. Yeah, twenty. I was yeah. gonna say twenty fourteen. Yeah. Oh shit. <gasps> Oh, she was two years old. Cause in 2016, she was hit by a car and dragged about 
a hundred feet and oh, felt shit. no pain. And I think that's how they found out. That's crazy. Because imagine the fucking two year old baby being dragged and the baby's like, eh. <laughs> Yo, you're so fucking wrong. <laughs> you're so wrong. What is wrong with you? I'm not laughing at her. She ain't laughing here, so you're not laughing with her. I'm laughing at her name. Tess. What? The girl didn't choose her. Blame her daddy. She got that last name from her daddy, most likely. Could be her mom, too, but, like, most likely. I, I blame whoever started the name. Farnsworth isn't a bad name it's but not now that you put it in my head that it sounds you can't kind of weird, it. I, I can't unhear yeah. it yeah yeah someone said somebody called xavier and they put the fucking wheelchair no. emoji. <laughs> that's not nice that's not nice they didn't need the wheelchair emoji i think that went too far <laughs> i it's funny that you read comments i really try not to because people are wicked Yo, comments are the funniest part people man. are comments? wicked nah comments are so funny let me have fun. Um, <laughs> so I realized something about myself. Oh God! Every time you say that, I get scared. I am a fucking annoying ass neighbor. Well, you're an annoying ass person, so I would feel like that translates to every aspect of your life. I've, you're an annoying ass son. You're that's an annoying true. ass friend. You're that's an annoying true. ass father. You're oh, an annoying ass sure. coworker. Oh, fuck you're an yeah. annoying ass like you said, neighbor. You're an annoying ass podcast host. Like I yes, feel like it just, yes. you know, it translates to every aspect. You're just annoying. I'm consistent. Nothing if but. <laughs> um, it's funny that you say annoying ass coworker because I there's a new guy that started working when I was. You forget off. I was once your coworker too. No, no, I didn't forget that. <laughs> okay. And <laughs> he started working when I was off, so I'm just meeting him for the first time, and we're working together. I asked him about a million and ten questions, and in the million and <sighs> ten, yep. The man who hates questions. Because I don't like when people feel uncomfortable around me. So you're like, let me question so you he was, every aspect Exactly. He was really life. quiet. I asked him where he, I asked him everything I could think to ask him. His tattoos. Okay, 50 got, cent fucking playing 21 questions yeah, over here. <laughs> yeah. You're and, like, okay, is it easy to love me now? Would you love me if I was down? Would you love me if I was out? <laughs> <laughs> you still like, have love for me. He's like, to be honest, I just want to leave, sir. <laughs> Please. Um, yeah. And I even told him, I'm like, I know I'm asking you a lot of questions and it's annoying, but you'll get used to it. And <laughs> well, I left I'm not going to stop. <laughs> um, yeah. So... I have a neighbor who, during the winter, so around November, we had we had a neighbor, and I spoke to them high and by. They went to the Philippines for a period of time. I realized they went in the winter. Yeah, don't blame them. Their vehicle is no longer at the house. Okay. Hmm. Our driveway only holds one vehicle. Sometimes in the garage, another one, and there's two people who drive in the house. Hmm. I don't want to go in the garage. So let me park on their driveway. I've been parking on this neighbor's driveway for months to the point where I I even remember I don't I'm not supposed to park there. Right, it just became second nature. Yeah, first, <laughs> first nature. Like if my driveway is empty, I don't even try and park on my driveway. So park on their driveway, and one day I kind of see somebody look at me funny because I I kind of say hi to everybody in the complex, mm-hmm. regardless if I know you're not. I just kind of wave. Mm-hmm. So people got used to that because we've like been friendly living there. Neighbor thing. Yeah, we've mm-hmm. been living there for years. So one day I'm getting ready for work. No, I lied. One day I'm at the kitchen window and I see a car parked in the neighbor's driveway, mm-hmm. but that's not my neighbor's car. But you weren't. I wasn't there because I didn't have my car that day. Oh, okay, it was okay. at the mechanics. Right. Okay. So I'm looking at my neighbor's driveway like, who the. F- fuck is, is taking my, my spot, spot. <laughs> who the fuck is taking my spot because i know that's not their car and they're not back from the philippines what the fuck is going on but you know they're not back from the philippines so the, what the fuck so now okay cool whatever next day i don't see the car good get the fuck out of here you know what's good my nigga don't let it happen again bitch don't let me catch you in these streets back on site <laughs> on this driveway <laughs> <laughs> so i even shoveled the driveway and everything wow okay i mean at least you did that so there was a bad snowstorm where it was like ice and shit. I didn't shovel shit then. I, nothing. Okay, cool. So one day I'm getting ready for work and I hear a knock at the door. Hmm. Who the fuck is at my door? Oh, no. 
Uh, hi, is that your car? Yeah. Um, hey, yeah, could you please move it? You're on our driveway. Your driveway? <laughs> what do you mean? We live here. No, you don't. This I'm literally telling them they don't live there. No, you don't. Yeah, we just moved in. I did not see a for sale sign. Nothing. So I'm like, um, okay, sorry, you know, I'm getting ready for work, you know, blah, blah, blah. And he's like, okay. Could have been, typically when a place is being rented, it, there's no sign. Also, there's private sales. I know. <laughs> I like, did, now I, I know. I, I, did, did, I didn't have anything to say. <laughs> <laughs> so now he's like, yeah, no problem. Da, da, da. So I get ready for work and I come outside. His wife, girlfriend, whoever she was, pissed? look pissed. When I say pissed, like disgusted pissed. Like. We know you've been fucking parking here. N- like, whatever. Like, so how long were they living there before they came over? They weren't. It was like they just, because moving trucks came after that. So oh. you're right. Like, maybe the owners went to the Philippines and renting it out or whatever the case is. It's their aunts. You can live there, whatever. Or maybe they sold it private or whatever. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. So I was like, okay, whatever. Oh, so they weren't even like fully moved in, but they were just like, bitch. Get- I mean, to be fair, if they're moving things, they need access to their driveway. I don't driveway. give a fuck. Don't look Des, at me like that. Des, no, don't fucking look at me like that. No, but you wrong. I don't give a fuck. You wrong, boo I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> so now I move my car and I'm like, oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah. And he's like, no, nah, don't worry about it. Like, it's okay. And she looked at him like, don't, what the fuck you mean? It's okay. it's okay. Yeah. yeah. So whatever. Okay. I didn't park back over there. When I say Joe, they were there for like a month. And then they moved out. And then I had new neighbors. So one day I go out and I see a different car. So in my head, they have a new new car. Mm-hmm. I see a younger Filipino guy. Hey, what's up? Hey, nothing much. How's it going? I'm chilling. Da, 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 da. Small conversation with him. Yeah, me and my girl, we just moved here. Da, 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 da. His girlfriend was pregnant. I'm like, is this like a business going on here? I didn't ask him that, but I was just like, something's like, up. What's going on? This is crazy. Here. Yeah. yeah. Voice. <laughs> what's going, going on here? <laughs> Yo, stop. Um, yeah. And Leave so the child alone does. I spoke to him, you know, I spoke to him. Does he have any kids? He has a daughter and he's having a next baby. And this is around the time I was having a baby. And, you know, it was conversation was just going mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and it was it was all right. It was cool. I met his girlfriend. You know how, I, how when I say every time I was at that window, they happened to be outside. Me, hey guys, hey neighbors, to the point where I had to hide when I looked out the window because it was just such a coincidence that every time I'm at my kitchen window, you guys are outside, and I didn't want them to look up and be like, "It's that nigger again." <laughs> what? Oh, no. I I'm not lying to you. That was my thought. So, <sighs> so you want to be friendly, but it seems like you're just always they, watching them, basically. They, exactly. But it was just a coincidence. But exactly. it seems like yeah, they had a barbecue, and Des Wayne is there. I was outside with the baby, and I'm talking to people at their barbecue. Like, oh, can I come by for a piece of chicken? <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was hoping they would offer me food. I'm not gonna lie to you. I was hoping they'd be like, "Hey, yo, no, come on." I dead ass. I heard you guys make that good chicken adobo. It's smoked. <laughs> It smells so good. Yo, that shit is good. Though. And like there was there's people who were like walking and looking around and I'm like, oh, the house is right here. Just go around the side. Da, da. Dead ass. You became a friggin' host? Yeah. And they're like, how did you know? I'm like, oh, I see the baby bag. So the baby shower, you know, and they're like, oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, and there's somebody that drives a blue car that visits him often or them often. And I don't know if it's like a sister or whatever. But she is so sweet, sweet. And I want to tell him, but I don't want to disrespect him if it's his sister or, no. you know what I'm saying? So I got to keep my mouth shut. Because then you won't get invited to any more cookouts. Anymore. They had the baby. The baby's cute. I, you know, I see the girlfriend all the time. Small conversations. Um, I was locked out my house for three hours and me and What's him new? chatted it up. Um, <laughs> he, That's nice that he kept you company. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He was going, um, him and his family were going camping. Two hours outside of uh, Toronto. Okay. They're going with family and friend. Like he, like we were just chatting. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I was like, so nobody will be home, but I'm I'm not driving, so I can't park there. Um, would you ever go camping? Um, what kind of camping? The fucking outside one, not in your fucking living room. Yeah, but like 
in the wilderness with a tent or like cabin camping. You fucked hard. One is called glamping your shit. How the fuck would I know that? I'm not white. So then what the fuck do you think I'm talking about when I say camping, you little bitch? Cabins. Camping in a fucking tent what in a, a sleeping bag. What the fuck would I be in a sleeping bag when I have a bed at home? What, am I a slave? I'm running away? You about to be. <laughs> what are you fucking talking to me? About to kill you, you little shit. <laughs> Trying to catch an attitude with me. Uh, that's so funny. Listen, you guys hear. I match his energy. So when he comes No, you at me, started it. No, you started it. You started it. it. You started it. Would you ever go camping? I said, well, what kind of fucking camping is there? You started it. Listen to me. That's why I called you a fucktard. Listen. I'm listening. They don't see you fucking rolling your damn neck. Bugging out your little your little eyes, okay? Can't even see shit. That's, I don't know what I don't know why you're bugging them out for. That's a racial slur. I don't appreciate you talking. That's a racial about, slur. Okay. Yeah. I'm I'm part Chinese. You know that. I don't like you talking about my First people all, and my little don't eyes. Say that. What? I don't like that. You said little eyes. You said little eyes. I said your little eyes. I have little eyes, and I'm part Chinese. I don't like you're that. You're not part Chinese. Like you fuck. Like so what you're doing is actually very racist. How's it racist? Because <laughs> I you're not part Chinese. You dumb fuck. Yes, I am. No, you're not. Okay. I'm going to call your mother right now. I don't have her phone number, but I do have her on Snapchat. I can call her on Snapchat, on fucking Facebook, on Instagram. I don't have her. Instagram. I'm part Chinese. No, you're not. Okay. I seen your mama and I seen your daddy. And me and my mom have the same little, little eyes. Your mother has beautiful eyes. You have little beady eyes, almost like a rodent. <laughs> like, you ever see the fucking raccoons? I'm surprised yours. The only thing is yours. Don't- <laughs> have, I sh- have I showed you a picture of my mom when she was pregnant with me? No. Okay, let me try and find it. Wow, you're just trying to say your mom had raccoon eyes? No, it's fucking terrifying. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Oh, how much she looks like you? Yeah. Terrifying. Like, Mm-mm. terrifying. Because you are a twin of your father, so... It wouldn't. It doesn't make sense. Like, legitimately? They must be related. Like, oh, that would explain so much. That's what I said, too. Yo, seriously. Oh, my God. Uh, is it under downloads? Oh, no. I still love you, even though you're probably an incest baby. I know, that's crazy. That's unfortunate. I don't look at you any different. Yeah, when I look in the mirror, I do. Well, because you, one, you can't see. Maybe that's why your eyes started to go. <laughs> the fucking genetics caught up. <laughs> <laughs> that's not funny. You said it, not My me. My mom won't like that one. You said it, not me. Your mom would actually find that very funny. She would. Yeah, she would. <laughs> Why is my phone on 5%? Because um, you stay on your phone while we're recording these episodes. Good. Because my son is my son. <laughs> You're about to say something mean. I was. Something I don't know so if I'll stupid. find it when I find father it, of the year. I mean, you are here making fun of an eight year old girl, so I'm like not really. Holding I didn't make fun of her. Standards. Her parents did. <sighs> okay. Farnsworth, come on. Yo, if I come to you and I'm like, hey, I'm dating this guy. His name is like Farn. His last name's Farnsworth. Don't. Why? Because I will. Oh, here it is. I likely wouldn't change my last name if I get married. Because I like my name. So you're only saying she looks like you because her eyes are a little bit like squinty. Oh, and honestly, so you admit they're little. You guys, I said a little, <laughs> a little bit. Um, The top of her head, like her forehead looks like yours too. I mean, mine looks like hers. Well, no, because I don't feel like her forehead is this shape anymore. But you know, like when women are pregnant, like it changes. Like your nose Mutants. spreads, like your fucking every, mutants. I mean, you're literally growing a human inside a human. Yeah, mutants. Like not even plants do that. They fucking release seeds and then the seeds grow <laughs> spread and that's that. I mean, yeah, like men fucking spread their seed everywhere. Fact. When another tree grows a tree, it doesn't grow it inside because it would kill the fucking tree. Hey man, the children, you're all killing. Your I didn't parents. make you guys. What? Like, I didn't create women, so oh. I had no control over that. No, I'm not, like, blaming you. Oh. Are you okay? Yeah. What? Nothing. <laughs> Such a weirdo. Um, Time for listener question? It is time to listen to the question of the oh, day. Oh, yeah. I was like... There you go. I was like, that doesn't sound right, because I'm literally grabbing that the question. That doesn't seem right. Like, Olivia, could you give me a hand, please? <sighs> to pick up a piece of paper, I think I got it. Ugh, do her little pillows. <laughs> oh, Jesus. 
What is the most unexplainable thing that has ever happened to you? Olivia Fawn's <laughs> one. <laughs> To be honest, that would being dragged by a car yeah. and feeling nothing at two. Would, Very unexplainable. Yeah. Most unexplainable thing, like I can't explain it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, there's several. Um, I've always felt like I hear voices, which gotta go, gotta go. <laughs> I don't, I don't appreciate that. Have you ever been like doing something and something tells you turn around? And then all of a sudden, like, you're like, oh, what the fuck? That's like your inner voice, like your your inner guide. Yeah. Yeah. I've had physical, like, I've felt physical things, like, grab me and, like, stop me from. There's one time. I swear to God, I'm not doing this podcast. But you're haunted. You're there's, fucking possessed. There's one time I was in Jamaica and I was. No, that's like the fucking conjuring. The fucking devil made me do it. I'm not about to be your was... victim <laughs> when you're like, I, I plead. You know, insanity by way of fucking de- <laughs> demonic possession. No, Des, it's not. I was like, I don't eight or feel nine. comfortable in this room with you. If I told you that, what would you do? You would I'd leave. leave. Exactly. I would leave. If I told you that shit talks to leave. me and grabs me leave. and I feel it, leave. You would leave. Yeah. So now I feel uncomfortable and you're here laughing because you think it's funny. <laughs> Meanwhile, you're low key telling me that the devil's trying to grab at your soul. No, that's not what I said. I think it's something trying to help me. As weird as it sounds, it feels like positive. It doesn't feel positive, but it's always been like... Oh, it doesn't feel positive. Wonderful. Thank you. When I say it doesn't feel positive, it's like, okay. The first time I felt it and I questioned it was I was nine or less than nine. And I was visiting Jamaica and we were walking. Younger than nine? Yeah, less less than than nine. (laughs) It's the same thing. If you... Okay. So I'm walking. You said I was less than like nine years old, but you just said less than nine. less than nine. Sure. It's just a weird way to phrase it. So I'm walking and me, my mom, whoever, but I'm in the back. Yeah. And I'm walking. The streets are busy, whatever. You know, you're trying to keep up with your parent, whatever. I was about to take a step around a car and I felt something grab me and pull me back. Like I physically went back Okay. and I stopped and I turned around quick. Nobody was behind me. But now my mom is cussing because she I guess she turned around and uh, the car that I was going to step in front of didn't see me and was about to drive. Mm. And like I immediately started crying because something grabbed me. I don't know. But I didn't tell that to my mom because she's cussing the driver for nearly hitting down her kid. Mm-hmm. So I was kind of like, what the f- so you feel like it's more like a guardian angel type of thing? Yeah. But your guardian angel is like, oh, I have to be working overtime. Like, and, like, <laughs> and like I said. Because they're not supposed to like grab you and shit, but yours is like, man. Before, it's not this your kid time. is fucked. It's like, it's not your time yet. Stop. Fuck, man. <laughs> um, yeah. But I think like, I think it's the same one that I think I saw when I was in Jamaica before I came to Canada. We, we spoke about this before. And like, I seen something behind a tree one night. And like it, it was coming out, and I got scared, and I ran. And I, I think so. Joe just took off the headphones, and I, I, Joe, you can't leave. Watch me. Joe, come back. Look, 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 look what you guys did. Joe just left this square room. Now this square room is just a straight line. That's what it is. This is now a straight line. I'll tell you guys because Joe, Joe's gone. So when I was three, <laughs> when I was three. Um, I was going to go see my grandma, and I was. Think that I'm just gonna sit around I was telling them. I told them I'll tell them. Oh, I hate you. Oh, okay, I'm back. Go ahead. Um, Although I, I really don't want to be here for this. But I saw something behind a tree. I just remember it was all dressed in all white, and like it came out, like it was smiling at me, and like I ran because I was scared. Every time something happens to me, I feel like, like it brings me back to that memory. So I feel like whoever or whatever that was, that's what it is. And even in like my teenage years, my adult years, there are certain things that have happened. Like I was at work one time and I'm, I'm sitting with my back against the wall and I hear... Stop, stop. Okay. Okay, I'll stop. Yeah, we're, okay. we're done. We'll stop it there. Um, what about you? So, listen, I'm asking you, please, every time you come into my space, I need you to just say, wait here, buddy. I'll be right back. (laughs) No, no, no. Seriously. I don't want that shit. I have some fresh sage and Mm -hmm. I'm going to fucking burn it when you leave. I can understand that. Like, I need to cleanse this space. 
that that's why I get scared of things so easily. Because I, I well, that makes sense. You got a fucking demon haunting you. Yeah. So when like before, it peeks ye- around a tree and smiles. Years ago, when the light was like flickering, and we used to make jokes about you how scared I am. Lights. It's because yeah. this is a dimming light switch, yeah. and those were not dimming, dimming lights. bulbs. So yeah, that's why they that flickered. These ones notice, and they yeah, don't it make hasn't, that yeah. noise either. Yeah. 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 No, I took it. Remember, you in. came in. You like, did you change the bulb? I changed everything. Yeah. 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 So you see. Thank you. I think my it, yeah friend it, it, appreciates it, that. Piss off, yo! I can't believe. Listen, because, okay, I I need to get away from Des, guys. You don't understand <laughs> how distraught I am. I'm, like, physically, like, halfway out the door right now. <laughs> Listen, mine is that I was drugged in South America, but, like, uh? I, yeah, I can, Des, I cannot sit here and, and sit with you and have this conversation right now. It has to be another story okay, for that's another fine. day. that's fine. You have literally shooken me to my core by telling me this shit still happens to you. Yeah. Des. What? I've accepted it. We've joking about like having like an exorcism and like how you would be like that but I don't, that demon in fucking scary movie that's like the horny demon. Yeah. But like we need to actually have a proper exorcism. You don't remember when we're on the phone and I got mad at you for not answering me when I was screaming your name, but you said I was sleeping. Yeah, but I thought you were having um, what do you call it? Sleep paralysis. I thought so too, but I physically saw something grabbing my foot and pulling me. Okay, and that. It's going to bring us to the end of our episode. <laughs> Guys, please say a prayer for me. I'm so scared. <laughs> but, like, also pray for Des. But, like, for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Um, But, yeah. And as for mine, I will explain it more in the future. But, like, I'm okay. I mean, I wasn't at the time. But I'm okay. Um, And, like, nothing super bad happened. But, like, that one was just, like, I don't know Yeah, I want to. I want to know that one next I don't know week. where it happened. I don't know what's going on. I just on. know something happened. I just know something happened. And I had a witness who told me, like, you were fucked up. Something, That's crazy. Something didn't go very well. But, yes, okay. That brings us to the end of our episode. We will see you next Tuesday.